Welcome, everyone, to the newest DLC to Hydroneer. Yes, Hydroneer, that game you guys all know and love that's all about mining and finding gems and gold and power stones and all these different things purely by using water to power all of your machinery. The newest addition to Hydroneer, Journey to Volcalidus, I believe is how I would pronounce it. That might not be how you're supposed to, but in this, instead of using water to power everything, you use lava. Now you can get there straight away with a brand new game, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this the lava map. I don't know why, but that's just gonna stick with me. So the lava map, I'm gonna start up a brand new game here. And here we are. You guys know Hydra Near. We've played it before on the channel. You got your standard map over here. Use your shovel to dig up, put it into pots, you know, rinse it off, all this stuff that's over here. Like I said, you use water in order to do all of that. You could do that this time, but we're not going to. In fact, I'm actually going to grab these couple things here really fast because you never know when you're going to need them. Oops, can I drop you into the bucket, please? Thank you. Oh, well, okay. The big bucket's going to come with. Not the little bucket, the big bucket's going to come with. And what we are going to do is we are going to drop said bucket back here and we are going to get on our way to where the DLC launches from. Now, there is a city in this game called Bridgeport that uh, has the ship that we need to take in order to get to the DLC map. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go over here, zip across this map, a uh, bridge, and go right over there. You can see the volcano in the distance. That's where we're going. Try not to flip my giant tractor here and keep on keeping on we make our way this way so here we go Bat down past over here i would go bahan through there but the trees you used to be able to go through them you can't anymore so no more bahan through trees it seems all right ah all right here, just recover there we go perfect all right and then we're just gonna take a little bit of a right Follow the giant green pointing arrow. It may not actually be pointing to where the ship is originally, but it does now. So you follow the big shiny green arrow, guys. We're going to go right up over here where it says Journey to uh, Volcalidus, or however you pronounce it. And we are going to hop out of our tractor. We are going to grab our nice little pan that we have here. And I'm going to say, see you later, folks, and go across the bridge onto Oh, it doesn't let me. No. Okay, fine. It doesn't let me. I was trying to cheese it. I didn't know you couldn't, but that's all right. Let's pull our lever here and let's go on our way. I've tried this out just a little bit to see where I have to go and what the DLC enters and stuff like that, which is why I tried to grab that extra pan. But the game said no. So where we're going is that volcano island right there. It's literally covered in ice and volcano, as you can see. And we are going to end up sailing in right here. So the old Hydroneer map is way over that direction. The new one's over here. Ding, ding, here we go. We are here to go and explore. We actually get to meet people as well. Last time I played Hydroneer, there was not people in it. So that was new. But here we are, a nice new town for us to explore. Now, there isn't really anything over here that you can find and or do. There's not even people over here, really. So it's cool for graphics wise. I'll give you that. But we need to head on to the Royal Barge here and go right up here. And we get to talk to these guys that are right up here. Hello. Ah, so you're the Hydroneer we've heard about. Yep. Welcome to Volcalidus. Volcalidus, I was are right. Different here, but you'll get it. There's no water sources, but there is lava-powered machines. You love, learn to love it. If you help rebuild the town of Newglade, but until then, the nearest jeweler is in this harbor. I need you to take this to Dawnrest. It's a dig site south of here that you can use. Cool. Take the truck we've left next to this ship. <laughs> On it, on it. So we get to rebuild a city called New Glade, I think is what he called it. And if we look here, pop up here, we're going to 
drop the oop okay that's apparently just gonna be there uh but i want to look at this map here really quick so the map right now where we are is we are in uh lumberton harbor is where we are and new glade is slap right in the middle of what looks to be the wa the lava so we can actually get over there we're gonna go visit that here in this video but first i want to get us to our dig site at dawn's rest so let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and drop this back in here again so that way it stays back there let's hop in our brand new truck here i like the way that this one looks better than the old one but let's zip on zipping on here and we're gonna cruise on our way <laughs> a little fast there it's a little bit more slippery because we are on ice I don't know if that actually changes anything, but it feels like it does when you're driving around. Little bumpy, bumpy, follow the path around like we did with the last one. And we're going to end up at the base of a giant volcano, which I think is really, really cool. <laughs> Watch out for that. It jumps right out at you and you run right into it. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to skirt, skirt right over here. The dig is over this way. I'm just going to pop over this hill. Baja a little bit. Woohoo! All right, and this lady that we wanted to talk to is right here. All right, grab this. Lady guy, pal, bro. Got to give it to Elsie. Here you go. All right, all right, there you go. Have your package. Be happy with it. Oh, you need me to deliver something now, too? Uh, okay, so I'm just a glorified delivery boy. Where's this one going? This one is going to... Uh, to New Glade. Hey, we actually wanted to go there. So we're going to go over here. We're going to drop this really quick inside of here or just get back in there and have it magically float. And then New Glade, I want to say is, if this is this way, it's more or less down the river of lava. So I'm thinking it's this way. Let me see here if I can zip over here and read this really quick yeah it looks like it's gonna be down here so let's go over here let's see if we could find our new new glade area that they were talking about and see if we can see this town that we are supposedly supposed to help build hey that looks like it's got a giant shield over the top of it i am here for that what is up okay so where are we? Is this new glade? It sure as heck is in the middle of a pool of lava. You love to see it. All right, let's go over here. Oop, bumpy, bumpy. I think my bumper got caught on the ground. Oh my Lord, I am terrible at driving. Skirt, skirt, here I am. Sims here, y'all. Oh, look at how nice this looks. All right, are you the one that wants the package? Get me my package. All righty, I'll get you your package. Here's your package. Would you hold my package for me? You big preach. To Frederick in Burville. Hmm, that's weird. That's near the town that I grew up. Anyway, something that's named like that. Oh, that's not at all what I meant to do. I keep pressing Q when I meant to press E. It's a whole thing. You hate to see it. You love to see it at the same time. There we go. Look at all my coin. 450 coins. All right. So what do we got here? Um, all right. So here's a stone one constructor crate used to construct a new stores in new glade. Uh, drop in an empty construction area to begin. Okay. Jeweler construction crate or... So I would like to have a jeweler over here because I feel like this is going to be closer to the other one. Um, how do I? Okay, no, that's not how you have to put the money in the bin, I think. Oh, wait, hold on, though. There's there's drills, though. And I'm going to have to start drilling stuff out. Oh, well, well, let's skip that for right now. So... So we have some stuff here. We have some standard piping, a new shovel if I want it. Um, I would like to get like a crucible and a casting mold. Crucible 1886, 42. So with that, I can make bars. 
And I would really like to do that, at least being able to get some bars made. Let's do a little bit of buying. I'll carry his crate around in a little bit, but let's do a little bit of buying here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this money, go drop it over here. I'll buy the jeweler and stuff. Should I buy the jeweler right now? Let's see if we can afford it. Money in here first, okay? And let's start with the basics. I'm gonna need a casting mold. I need a crucible. And I'm going to need a small furnace. These three items all together are 146. So with those, I can make ingots, which is great because ingots are easier to sell or even use to craft things than just carrying around a bunch of material. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to try to be as efficient as I can. Okay. And that should leave me, if that was like 150, that should leave me with like 300 left. I should be able to buy the jeweler. I don't know if the jeweler buys ingots, though. I don't remember if the jeweler buys ingots. I don't think so. I think that the standard store buys ingots, right? A uh, new store, 210. Um, let me just look around here. Where are you? Okay, that's nice. Have a good time doing whatever it is that you're doing. Um... I don't think that there's a store anywhere in here. Although I am interested in whatever the heck this is. Because that's pretty cool. There's also a new Blade Museum. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, you already got me hooked. Go fetch some Hydrosaur bones. You want me to build you a dinosaur? Absolutely. You got it, buddy. We are now best friends. One thing that got me completely hooked to the new Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing New Horizons, right, was the fact that you got to build the aquarium and the fossils and gather the bugs and things like that. I love that kind of stuff in games. So the fact that I got to do it, mm, it was good stuff. It definitely was good stuff. All right. Um... Should I get anything else while I'm over here? Honestly... Honestly, no. I don't think so. I really don't. Uh, I'm just gonna grab this money up here, and I'm gonna buy myself a jeweler. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna drop this down. There you go. Let me get this jeweler box. You'll love to see it. We're going to buy that. I'm just going to leave my money there. Honestly, I don't really need it. So I'm just going to leave my money there. And where? To, oh, over here. Oh, OK. So right over here, we put this down. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't tell me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't need to buy this. I was right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Here we go. All right, so this I need hardstone blocks and iron bars in order to build the jeweler. That's interesting, actually. And what are you after over here, my pal, my guy, my dude, my pal? A 1.5 weight amount of metal. 1.5 weight of iron ore. Give me some scout guild tokens. What the heck do I use scout guild tokens for? Also, what the heck is this over here? This is just, uh, oh, oh okay. All right. Okay. Hey, pal. Big surprise. That's me, Big Shoots. All right. Let's go over and let's do what Hydraineer is famous for. And let's do a little bit of digging and smelting and all of that. Oh, man. Kind of kicking myself in the pants a little bit for doing that. Just a little bit, but it's okay. What's up? You want 1.5 weight of metal as well? I don't have a scale. Can I buy a scale? Is that something that I can do? Let me get that. You want iron ore as well. You're going to give me scout guild tokens. Uh, and you want, and it's for Yorick. Okay, do that. Can I buy a scale? How much is a scale? 
Let's see, which one was the scale again? It's been so long. Uh, hard stone refiner, funnel, concrete floor, da, da, da. Uh, mining helmet, bucket, scales. Here we go, 146. Do I have 146 coins? That is a good question. I have 94. Okay, so no scales yet. That's okay. Let's grab our stuff that we have. And let's boogie, boogie, boogie back over to where we know that we're going to be able to do some building. Now, where we were able to build or dig, I should say, and build up our first mining refining area is right over here at the base of this volcano. So not too far away from New Glade. I wish there was an area that's like right there. Like I'd love to be able to, to do a mining operation that's really close at some point to the sales area. I remember when I was playing Hydroneer in the past, I got to the point where I was like building up on in like inside of a mountain and it was great. I loved it. It was so much fun to be able to like build inside of a mountain. Uh, but alas, the shop was not too close there either. All right, skirt, skirt around over here. Ah, okay, there we go. And Elsie's right here, which means the area we get to dig is right here at Dawn's Rest. So here is our zone. Here is where we get to dig and stuff. I'm just going to unload a couple of my things here. Um, I'm going to put you down right. I said you down right. Okay. You down right here. Perfect. And then you really quick. Furnace right there. I don't have like a flat spot yet. Like if I had like a... I just backed inside of my vehicle somehow. That was strange. Uh, if I had my floors down and all that in an actual workshop. So for now, that will work. All right. To the important things. Grab our pan. And we're just going to go toss it into the lava here. And yes, I can just pick up a bucket of lava. No, we doesn't care how hot that would actually be in RL. What's this? Snowball. I love it. I absolutely love it. I need to get some friends to throw snowballs at in this game. But for now, do a little bit of digging. I think that right here looks good. And what I'm going to do is this. Grab your shovel. You do a little digging and you fill and you dig and you fill and you dig and you fill and then you drop your shovel, pick up your bucket, dump it on into this one. That's not at all what I meant to do. Dump it on into. <laughs> dump it on into. There it goes. All right. And then it looks like I got a little bit of iron here. Drop that into there. And then a couple pieces of gold already. Drop my gold up there. And then there should be a hard stone as well. Gold ore, okay. I found hard stone with my first dig last time. So we may find it again. A little bit of there, a little bit of there, a little bit of there. Do I need another one? I do, ha ha. That, go well, grab a little bit more lava. This whole grabbing lava thing is gonna become very interesting to me. Right. There. right, looks like we got a couple pieces of iron ore this time, so those can go inside of here. I'm gonna actually grab this whole crucible, bring it over here. Remember this game starts to get pretty laggy. There's that hard stone I was talking about. Uh, this game starts to get pretty laggy when you start having hundreds of pieces of stuff. Oh, this is Cloutnium. This isn't even gold. Okay, so let's make that a pile over there. No, separate piles for stuff. Any more in here? No? Very good. Maybe I can get a jet. Oh, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yeah, your guy just kind of bounces around in the lava. You don't take damage. You don't take fall damage in this game. You don't take uh, heat damage in this game and stuff like that, which I always did enjoy. Uh... There. Oh, did I get my first gem? I did. I got my. Oh, I didn't. That's just another core stone ore. All right, another kind of ore that goes up there. 
All right. I definitely, definitely thought I've got my first gem there, but I did not. All right. So we got a little bit of iron ore here. I don't know how much we have, but we're going to take this and we're just going to slap it down on the, in this guy right here. That's going to heat that up. Right. Right. Did I do something wrong here? I don't remember. Isn't this how this works? I swear this is how this works. Am I wrong? And you know what? I betcha. I betcha it's because it's not in here. Let me see something. Did I do it wrong again? I did. You actually have to put it down. There we go. Now you can see it's warming up. Ah, it's been a little while. Don't mind me being rusty, y'all. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a wee bit rusty. That's all. All right. Let's go through. I'm gonna see if I can get just one more piece of iron to throw in there, so that way I can sell it. Then we're gonna go through and see if we can. Oop, that was hot inside there. Uh, no, I just got a piece of gold. Okay, we'll drop the gold with the rest of the gold. Very good. We have done it. We have smelted a bar of metal. There it is, everyone. Our bar of metal. All of our hard work has been for this singular bar of metal. So that way we can go and sell it and hopefully get like 40 coins for that. Probably not. But we're going to shoot back over uh, to New Glade and see if we can use it in order to buy our scales. All right. There we go. A little wonky driving. And we should be able to set ourselves up nicely to buy our scales. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> If anything, I probably should get, like, a foundation, uh, so that way I can set up some of that stuff to be a little bit more stable, and even some piping, so that way I can start, uh, going through and getting things. I need sorters, I'm gonna need, uh, auto, I'm gonna need drills, I'm gonna need sorters, crushers, conveyor belts, all that good stuff, but it all starts here, with our first sale of our first tiny ingot of metal, that had three or four pieces in it. I don't remember if it was three or four. Skirt, skirt, excuse me. If I would have just brought that, uh, that package over to, uh, Burville. All right, here we go. What do you got for me? 31. Yeah, we're getting some, uh, we're getting some money. <laughs> like, literally the smallest amount of money. You sure bet I'll hold your package for you there, pal. I'll hold your package for you good. Oh, how much do I have altogether? Oops. Oops. I got 125, need 146. Okay, fine. I'll grab your package for you and bring it over to Burville. I don't even know where Burville is. Frederick of Burville. By appointment of the crowd. All right, hold on a second. Where the heck is Burville? Uh. Um. Burville. Okay. So follow the road out. Take a left on the main road and then a right. Gotcha, gotcha. Roger, roger. All right, there you go. Hold that for me. We're going to hop in here and we're going to follow this around because there should be a road that leads out of here down this way. Sure is. All right, follow the main road out. And then it should be, I should see like some signs for something. Maybe it's across that bridge that's right there. I think it's a left and a right is what I said, right? Well, left? Maybe. Refueled from the lava tank. This car runs on lava power. 
All right, here, let's go back this way. I didn't even realize the small little square of lava in the top until right now. How comfortable would you be knowing that you're riding around with a tank of lava right behind you? I would, personally. Personally, I'd be like, yeah, no, this ain't cool. But that's just me. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, let's go down over here. Down here. So there's a left, then a right. And this should be Burville, right? And then are you going to get me a package to bring somewhere too? Bouncy, 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 bouncy. I'd love just a little bit more money. Burville. I get it because it's cold. Ah, you got me there. 4.45 weight in gold? For 180 scout tokens. I don't know if that's worth it. We're going to drop it in the back, though, and we're going to figure it on out. All right, is you who I need to bring this to? Here's your package. Now give me my coin. Thank you. I need you to deliver this. You sure do. To shattered out for 500 coins. Now we're talking. We're already going to get some automation going with this much money. It's not at all what I meant to do. I want to look around Burville a little bit. Spend your tokens here. Oh. Oh. You can build a nice house. Volcanus Peak Trophy. Holy crap! Flaunt your wealth with holy balls! Alrighty. But I can build a whole igloo over here with that. That's nice. Alright. I feel that. What's this over here? Ooh. More conveyor belts, huh? Alright, 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 alright. I feel it. I know where I can get some conveyor belts. Hand me a package, good sir. I'll drop that in there. Now I need to go to the Shattered Outpost. Which is... Oh. Uh, oh. That's why it's so much money. Oh. Well. All right. We're going to do that. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that in the next one, y'all. We've done the beginning parts of Hydromir, the newest DLC. Volcanus. This is going to be really cool, guys. I'm very excited about this one. I do want to go ahead and get some automation going because, honestly, what I will say, my least favorite part of this game is just sitting here and running back and forth, shovel, 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 dump it into a bucket, dump it into a larger bucket, fill that bucket full of lava, and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat. To me, it's just not all that much fun. So if I can go ahead and get myself even a little bit of automation with a drill, with getting myself a grinder and maybe even a sorter, I'm fine with moving the different pieces of metal into the smelter, putting it into all of that. I'm fine with doing all that. It's just the digging that I'm not a super huge fan of. So what we're gonna do is in the next one, we're gonna start automation already. I'm gonna run this down over to the next city and by the time I'm there, we'll see you guys in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or leave me a comment down below if you guys like Hydroneer. If you guys want to get this one, guys, make sure you go over to Steam. Check it out, the DLC. It's not too spendy. You guys can go pick that one up for yourselves. I would definitely recommend it, especially if you are a fan of Hydroneer. But thank you guys so much. And as always, we'll see all of you guys in the next one.